Hello, wisdom seekers, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be doing a guided meditation with the stone fire agate. For those who've watched my videos before, welcome back. For those who are just watching for the first time, my name is Shannon, and I'm a certified Reiki master and teacher, a certified gemologist, and a published author. My book, Crystal Wisdom, Unearthing the Power of Gemstones for Positive Life Change, is now available. If you're interested in reading that, I'll put a link in the description box below and in the eye above. And I combine those skills and passions to provide you with the knowledge, the tools, and the opportunities to practice incorporating crystal wisdom into your everyday life so that you can find comfort and support during practical everyday life situations. And today we'll be doing that with fire agate. These guided meditations are an opportunity to practice sitting with a stone, feeling its energy, listening to the supportive benefits of that stone and deciding if that's one that you would like to work with more. If you haven't already watched the video, the top four crystal wisdom benefits of fire agate, I'll also link that in the eye above. If you do have a piece of fire agate, this is a good time to go get that, put that by your meditation space, but you don't need a piece of this gemstone to benefit from the guided meditation. Sit, listen to the questions and prompts. And if any of those really call to you, they feel familiar or trigger you a little bit, then that's a sign that maybe fire agate would be useful to help you out in life. The only other thing that you'll need for this guided meditation is a comfortable seat. That could be on a cushion on the floor, a chair directly on the ground outside, just as long as you could remain comfortable and alert for about 10 minutes during this guided meditation. So if you have your fire agate or you're ready to picture a, a fiery brownish orange stone in your mind and you have your comfortable seat, then let's begin. I invite you to close your eyes and start taking some slow, deep breaths. And bring your awareness to what it feels like to breathe. To inhale and exhale. How does that feel in your body? bringing your attention to the rest of your physical body and notice if there are any discomforts or sensations standing out right now. And drawing up to your heart center and recognizing if there are any emotions sitting with you. And then drawing up to the state of your mind. Is it calm or busy? And we're not trying to change anything or make it a certain way. Just checking in to see what's going on with you right now. And then bringing your awareness to those parts on your body that are touching the cushion or chair or the floor beneath you. And feeling this connection to the earth beneath you. Remembering that you are sitting on top of the entire earth, directly over its center, and you will be guided and protected and supported by the entire mass and all the energy of the earth.
And if you do have a piece of fire agate, then pick that up and place that in your receiving hand. This is your non-dominant hand. And it will bring in the energies of the fire agate during this meditation today. And take a minute to get to know your piece of fire agate. Feel its weight in your hand. Run your fingers over the surface. And if you don't have a piece of fire agate, then imagine a, a shimmery brownish orange gemstone in your mind. It shimmers like fire. Notice if anything has changed in your body, your heart, or your mind since you picked up the fire agate. Then imagine you are sitting in the dark of night, in front of a blazing campfire. The campfire helps you feel warm, and safe, and wards off any fears. And sit with this image of fire agate energy for a minute. Fire agate is the stone of security. And as you hold or imagine the fire agate, consider the following questions and how they may or may not relate to your life right now. Is there something in your life causing you fear? Do you want to have the courage to act in the face of fear? Are you seeking an overall sense of safety and security in your life? Maybe you don't feel stable in your life situation. Are you hoping to release habits and behaviors that no longer support you? Is there a decision or life challenge you seek guidance for?
all of these life situations are supported by fire agate. And if one of these stood out to you more than the others, then, then bring that situation back to your heart, your body, and your mind, and sit with it for another minute or two while you hold or imagine the fire agate. Notice if anything has changed about the way that you feel about that situation. Notice if anything has changed in your heart, your body, your mind, since you started the guided meditation. And then release the image of the fire agate energy and Release the situation that you were sitting with and just come back to your normal breathing. And when you feel ready, then open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me to meditate with Fire Agate, the Stone of Security. And if you have found this useful and you feel like Fire Agate is a gemstone that you would like to work with more, these meditations were meant to be repeated about two to three times a week for a couple of weeks until you can quickly call up the supportive benefits of the Fire Agate when you need them. And that is the essence of how crystal wisdom works to initiate change and transformation in your life by knowing which life situations you want support with, which gemstones will help you, and using them when you need them. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new to the channel or you've been watching for a while and you haven't yet subscribed, then please do hit the subscribe button below so you won't miss a single gemstone video. Thank you so much and I'll see you again during the next video.